Uh, so I've got to storage to uh, do some with the caravan, do some filming and bits, and it's not there. Help. Uh, just going to the uh, see the caravan in storage. Got a bit of filming to do. Got a few little things to do to it. Get you ready for the new the going out again. So all good stuff. Where is the caravan? Uh, so I've got to storage to uh, do some with the caravan, do some filming and bits, and it's not there. Help. And this is the spot where it usually is. I've just spoken to the dealers and the caravan's actually in in the workshop. We have a few little uh, snagging jobs that they were been working on and they've taken it to the workshop over the weekend. And uh, apparently one of the bits wasn't right, so they're keeping it a bit longer. But I thought, I thought the caravan was here and I've come and it's not here. Mild panic there, but the caravan is actually with the dealers. Look, th thankfully, they're they're really good here. They uh, if because because we're on storage at the same site as the dealers. If we have any issues or repairs to do, if you leave a set of keys with them, they'll actually take it from your your storage place and uh, your, your storage spot, take it to the workshop, do all the works, and put it back for you, which is really cool. You've got to keep the caravan reasonably empty so they can do all that. But, but there was a mild panic when I drove up, and there was a, a big gap where the caravan should be. <laughs> Just behind the stories, there's some like overgrown um, bits, and there's a, I just saw a, a, a cat. I don't know if you saw one of our older videos, but there's a cat that lurks around the uh, storage site, and we fed it. Uh, Mrs. Hayhoe and Little Hayhoe want to keep it, but I think it must get rid of the mice here as well. But uh, I just saw it running into those bushes over there. So we have a cat guarding the caravan from rats and mice, which is always handy. Yeah, ever since we got the caravan, there's been a few little minor issues with the uh, with for snagging things. It's minor little, sometimes like a, a couple of screw holes, you know, you, they put those little plastic caps over, the, over to cover them. A few of them were missing. Uh, there was a couple of little minor scratches which they've repaired. Um, one of the one of the big issues was that where you store the um, table against the back wall, there was a, there's a bracket that holds it in place, and that's that's come loose a couple of times now. And there's, uh, there's not much room for the actual screw to actually go into the thing that holds it on. So they're, they're repairing that as well. We have uh, a bit of an issue with the water pump. Now, in our last caravan, the Explore 304, it was it was silent, well, virtually silent. You could hear the odd whir. But on this Discovery D44 we've got, when, when the water pump goes, you hear a dunk, 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 like a clicking, dunking, it's hard to describe. I, I should record it. But you can hear, you hear a noise when it's drawing water. And it's a bit annoying when you're on site because it sounds like you're about to wake up. But, well, not wake up, but disturb everybody around you. Uh, but it, if you do leave the pump on during the night time, it occasionally like, draws water. And it's suddenly at two o'clock in the morning, you hear a dunk, 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 as it fills it up. It. So I, I, they're saying it's it's just normal that they, they sometimes do make that noise. But I want it... I'm on it looking at and uh, sorting because I, th I think it should be quieter than it is. Uh, what, what other things that they sort in? Oh, the the, the door between um, the main living space and you go into the bathroom at the back. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's, it's just like really stiff, and it sometimes it's so stiff you can hardly get it closed, uh, and sometimes it's really stiff you can't get it. It really struggles to get it open, and. Uh, in the night time, it obviously makes noises when you're trying to push your way in and out if you go, go to the bathroom during the night. And little here, oh, she's so, she's so little that sometimes it's so stiff that she can hardly even open the thing or she's trapped in the bathroom. <laughs> so they're going to try and do something. I don't know if they're going to adjust the the hinges on it or do something with the with, with the frame or something. I don't know. But it's, it's just such a stiff door. But apart from that, there hasn't really, really been any sort of any big snagging issues. I think that's it, really. Uh, Trying to think of any more. It's all minor stuff. 
I think every caravan you get has a few little bits and bobs that need doing from time to time and or, or when you get it from from new i know people always say that oh they don't build them like they used to and that's i don't, I don't really know to be honest we've only have had new caravans and it, they seem to be reasonably well made and you know good finish and everything and made of good parts i mean everything you buy when you buy a house it's there's always there's always something isn't there that's damaged or not quite right or what have you but thank, thankfully wonder home here are, are really good as I say, they'll, they've they got a list of all the little bits they need to do and they seem to be on it and it would sort of fit it around us going away in the caravan. So hopefully by the time uh, it's finished in the workshop it will be back in good working order and all the little snags are all finished and it'll be back to being perfect. And now we're just looking forward to getting away in the thing because it's been one of those winters where it's just been so sort of wet and miserable and we've had we've been so busy with all sorts of other stuff we haven't really been away since the back end of last year and and now we just we're reaching to get away we just need to find a, a a free weekend and we can just go somewhere local and just have a nice little weekend break in the caravan because we miss it and we just need to get out in it so there you go right i'm back in the car now i'm heading back back home because there's no caravan to do uh Thanks for watching anyway. I know sometimes our videos just a one or two minute little updates, but we like to keep you in the picture. Uh, sometimes a 20 minute long epics, and I hope you enjoyed the NEC shows and the and the, and the recent caravan trips. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we've got lots of good stuff coming soon. We're getting away soon, so we can film some of that. And uh, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and do all the good stuff, as little hey-ho would say. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye.